Welcome back, YouTube. I'm finally tinkering around with this motor. Got the new timing cover and some of the other parts. I should have the, uh, I finished up the valve springs to so look for a video on how to swap out valve springs. Um, I didn't port the heads or anything like I wanted to, but at this juncture, I'm just trying to clear space in the garage. I'm getting real full in here. So this motor is going back together. I'll port another set of heads over the winter. Um, and the block, like I said, the crank is done, mains are in and tight, rod bearings are in and tight, oil pump is on, everything else is ready to go. Um, I got the new timing chain cover, I just gotta press the seal back in that, so I might do a video on that, I might not, I haven't decided yet. But uh, we're gonna throw the timing chain on now and I'll take you guys along with me for that. Um, I'm running a Chloe's, 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 or Chloe, I, I don't know, however you say it, Chloe's double roller. Um, which the double roller has three different timing marks on here. Um, straight up is factory position, this is a circle. I don't remember which one's which on here. I don't have the instructions because this is an older chain off of another motor. It's probably got about uh, 8,000 miles on it. But we're gonna recycle it for this application. Um, still good, still tight, but I'm gonna be running it on the open dot here. So the first thing we gotta do is crank this on, or press this onto the crank. Um, a lot of the times these will slip fit and go on real nice and easy. Sometimes they don't. I know from doing this last time and testing all of this, this is not one of those quick and easy ones, unfortunately. It's a little snug, but that is okay. It will go on. So now, that's just resting there. Uh, I got it started on the keyway. So I'm gonna have to drive it in a little bit. Like I said, this one is a little bit snugger than the last one that I did. Not the end of the world by any means, but uh, it is what it is. So here's that. We've got our cam gear. I'm gonna try and get this set up. So it's roughly in the right position. Spray this down real quick too. There goes the brake clean. All right, so um, I got the chain on the lower. Obviously this is not seated all the way on the crank, but I'm just trying to line up these two dots. Bring you guys in closer actually. Um, on the timing gear, on the crank, like I showed you that single dot, um, first thing you're going to want to do is turn the crank over, line up your keyway to 12 o'clock, so it's vertical, straight up, and then on the cam gear, you have your dowel pin for the fuel pump, and another dot here. When you line these up, it's going to go dot to dot facing each other, so the crank gear is going to be at 12 o'clock, cam gear is going to be at 6 o'clock. Then you get to play the wiggle game of trying to get all of these in to line up together. And since this one is a little bit tighter, it's gonna be a little more difficult to drop these in. It's super convenient when these actually line up together. But, okay, you're good. So there's our 12 o'clock position. Let's see if I can drop you guys down here. I got the dot there. And then I also have the dot on the keyway. So it's dot to dot. I know this looks kind of goofy. Let me see if I can fix your angle. So you can see what I'm looking at. 12 o'clock, 6 o'clock. Now, this is really hard one handed. Much easier getting the cam gear on than the um, crank one on this application. 
but once the cam or crank gear starts going, the rest of this kind of drops in and the alignment gets a lot better. So right there. I cannot get the cam gear on any tighter because the crank gear needs, they kind of need to go on together as a unit. There we are. I'm gonna grab a socket. I'm gonna tap this on a little bit tighter. Cam gear is now seated onto the crank, or sorry, crank gear is seated onto the crank. Um, bottomed out there, right where it's supposed to be. Cam gear as well is now on flush tight. And now I get to check to make sure, which I did, your timing dots or mark, reference marks are even. Um, six o'clock, 12 o'clock, teeth are pointing at each other. This is the straight up position for standard um, cam install. Cam that I'm using is gonna be running this one. So, I get to put on the fuel pump and uh, the fuel pump centric and the cam gear. I got one of these that fits and one of them's tight. I gotta figure out which one's which. For the oil slinger, that's the tight one. Here's the less tight one. So that goes on there. That'll stay there. And I'm gonna doll up this with a little bit of blue Loctite. If you're running an electric fuel pump, uh, you can use the shorter dowel pin instead of this one. But on the eccentric for the fuel pump, uh, you got a little tab here. This goes into the mounting hole, uh, the same hole as the dollop pin. A little bit of Loctite on here, half inch bolt. Put this on, catch that in the groove. Nine sixteenth, not half inch, I'll idea. And then um, I will actually torque that one down. Uh, I don't have the torque spec off the top of my head, so I'm gonna look that up real quick. I'll be right back. Just looked it up, it is uh, forty to forty five foot pounds on that cam gear, so. Sitting the torque wrench right now. 40, 45. 45 foot pounds, one little do dollop of uh, blue Loctite on there just to make sure those stay in. And that is it for the cam chain. Next up, I gotta start putting the timing cover in. I have not pounded that seal in yet, so I might do that uh, in a later video. There's a good chance I might not, I, in all honesty. Uh, look up how to pound a seal in on a 302, it's pretty common. Um, just press the main seal, or the crank seal in, and then um, I gotta start digging through and see what I got for bolts uh, for the timing cover. Then we can put the water pump on, but ideally the goal is to try and finish up this, uh, at least the short block tonight, get the oil pan and everything back on, maybe the heads too, since those are pretty much ready to bolt on. There's a good chance we might have everything done. So uh, I'll catch you guys soon. All right, this is a brand new Dorman timing cover. Um, I like these because they are very um, universal in the sense of, um, 
It's got a dipstick tube. If you're not gonna use it, you throw a little plug in there. Not that big of a deal. Um, it also has the fuel pump for a mechanical pump. I'm probably not gonna be running a mechanical pump on the Falcon, but I honestly have no idea yet. Um, I'm setting up the timing gear. I got the mechanical pump and all the gears on here now um, off of the cam. So I'm setting up for mechanical. If I end up going electric, I will do just do a block off plate and everything else is here. If the electric pump fails for whatever reason, I can grab a mechanical pump at any auto parts store and slap that back in and get home. So um, first thing I like to do, I know I don't have a gasket on here, but since I have miscellaneous new bolts, I like going through and making sure that everything I have will actually fit. So open up some of these, make sure everything's the right length before we actually uh, do an install. So we'll do a rough dry install first. Let me open up all these bags real quick and we'll be back.